you've had like quite a meteoric rise um, in a short space of time and during like a pandemic. So mm -hmm. during this where everything's kind of, especially in Europe, it's kind of locked, everything's locked down. People aren't working, shooting, traveling, going out. But you started your brand um, and within a short period of time, you were noticed. I mean, how did you get your, how, what was the idea that led to you kind of following this path? And, um, well, I'm definitely not famous for anything yet. I think um, the most followers I've ever had, which is on Instagram right now, is about 1,400. Um, I'm like in the 3,600s on Pornhub, so I'm not like well known or anything at all. Um, but I think there's but, a, there's an authenticity uh, to there's an authenticity to your uh, profile, maybe because it's your new or it's kind of different, it's fresh, and I think that. Um, it's going to catch on and there's like an authenticity and a real, I hate the phrase girl next door, but it's kind of like very much like, wow, this is someone different. Yeah. Yeah. I hate the girl next door too. Actually in my Instagram bio, I explicitly state not the girl next door uh, because that's what all these porn companies want me to be. Mm. And I don't mind doing it a little bit, but yeah, they would have, Ideally, they would have wanted me to have my body. We have no tattoos and then long blonde hair. Right. And um, I told them, yeah, no, I'm not going to do away with my tattoos. I'm probably going to get more. Mm. Um, but in the near future, I'm hoping to, um, I'm going to get my hair colored platinum. Oh, um, right. And then I'm going to do like kind of a half bomb. On my 18th birthday, I actually made a, ch uh, a Chatterbait account. Which is, if you don't know, it's like this um, camming site where, you know, yeah. people can tip you to get naked and whatever. Mm. Um, and I did that for a little bit under a totally different name. I was, uh, I was Mistress Medusa and I had oh. like this long green wig and a, um, like a masquerade mask. Mm. Um, but then I got bored of that. I was actually working at McDonald's at the time and I, for a while I liked it, but then the pandemic hit and they just stopped giving me hours and mm. you know I had just graduated high school and I was like I can work full time now and they just wouldn't schedule me mm. so um I left and I became a stripper down at Rick's Cabaret in Minneapolis and I I loved it um um how I went from McDonald's to stripper I don't I don't know I think I came across a YouTube video one day about being a stripper and I was like maybe I gotta look into this a little bit so somebody reached out to me on Instagram about paid modeling and I was like okay um I'll give it around and um I brought a friend with me for you know backup security and it turned out I was really good at it <laughs> um, yeah. and you know I got some cash in the process I got some good pictures so um then i started to want to take it a step farther yeah I'm like well i already get naked for money yeah why don't yeah. i meet some cool people and travel the world and yeah you know let's, and let's because it's a, it is generally seen as a short career or a short uh, window of years why don't you maximize that time doing um the most that you can that you're happy comfortable with um rather than because it's not it generally there's very few people that have the long in long careers. minnesota you're in the you're in the east the middle east right not the middle east but like, <laughs> the mid east or whatever it's called it's called the midwest, the midwest for some reason but it's more just like in the middle right yeah. but you is the plan to eventually maybe go west coast and then that. um if my career keeps growing um, yep. in a couple of years, I would love to move to Vegas, but I got to see what happens at that time. Because for all I know, in a couple of years, I could be done with this. Yeah. Um, I could yeah, either it, just, what? It could be like something else comes along and then, you know, you. Yeah. Either, either I'll get sick of it or I'll just stop getting work and I'll quit. But um, yeah. I don't think I ever plan on stopping dancing unless you know something happens where maybe i get injured or maybe i do get we're living in an age now there's so much choice with like relationships and partners that people find it hard to um 
commit to one person because when you're you're in a relationship you're essentially being your energy is focused on that one person and you have to close yourself off to other opportunities that are coming your way and we live in a world now that this opens up so many doors and opportunities that to be in a relationship with someone it means kind of putting this on the side which in turn means you're not going to be picking up opportunities and leads and kind of and it's difficult now because we're living in the techno this technology has kind of altered the that relationship dynamic so um i was talking about that with someone and um quite recently and it's just i think it's going to be fascinating where where the road leads you know so you know i just think it depends on what the person wants if they want the relationship then they're probably going to make it happen not that yeah. things don't happen but yeah like right now I'm very work focused. I know that I, right now I don't really want a relationship. Mm. Um, down the road, sure. 